Hey, what is up everybody and thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody's staying home, staying safe in this hard time. So in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can screen mirror your iPhone to your TV without using Wi-Fi and internet connection. So yeah, instead of Wi-Fi we're going to be using mobile data. I know it's pretty cheeky, it's pretty simple to be honest. And uh, for this video you can use any iPhone you want. In my case I'm going to be using my iPhone XS Max. And uh, yeah, you can use any iPhone you want, uh, you want literally, <laughs> as long as it supports, it supports mobile data, so. Alright, so first thing you want to do is to go to the settings, and uh, just turn on the mobile data. By the way, mind you, this is going to cost you, because once you turn on the mobile data, all the applications gonna going to use the internet, right, off your mobile data, so. Just be careful with the uh, mobile data, because it is somewhere expensive, it's somewhat expensive, uh, depends on where you live, so. In my case, it, it doesn't really matter as much, so I'm gonna turn it on. By the way, again, it might cost you, so you have to be careful about that. So once the mobile data is turned on, you have to go to the personal hotspot settings right below the mobile data. It's pretty simple, right? Once you turn that on, that's gonna enable your TV to connect to your hotspot, and uh, you can set up your password however you like. I would, I would, I would keep it simple, really, because you can't, re you don't really need to make it hard for you for yourself type on your uh, TV settings so in this case it's really simple nothing else nothing's uh, you know nothing hard in it so yeah again it might cost you uh, once you enable your mobile data so you have to be careful I'm saying it again and again because it is pretty expensive somewhere uh, in a different countries in different places depends where you live all right so in my case I'm gonna be using Samsung TV pretty simple nothing uh, special in it just go to the network settings and uh, find your iPhone a hotspot and connect to it it will take a few seconds depending on how big your password is. As I said before, mine is pretty simple, so it'll take me a few seconds. There you go. Just type the uh, password. There you go. Just check it. Mm, yep, that's my password, and it will take a few seconds. They have to be patient. Once the uh, once your TV once your TV is connected to your iPhone, now you got a middleman. That's the, your hotspot, right? Now you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Just joking, kidding. Alright, so now what you want to do, not, you don't have to do anything on your TV, by the way. So as, as long as your TV supports internet connection or Wi-Fi connection, this will work, okay? So in my in my case, it's not an Android TV, it just supports Wi-Fi connection. So now we get back to the iPhone and download a free app called iMediaShare. It's a free app, I've been using it for ages now. I'm just kidding, it's maybe four, three, maybe four years. So yeah, it's a pretty simple app. It's nothing heavy in it. It's just four, five, maybe ten max MBs in there. So you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, by the way, you can see the blue dot at the uh, top uh, left corner. That means the hotspot is connected. Oh my god, my camera. I apologize for that. All right, so once you download the application, you don't have to sign in. It's it's a free app. All right. So once you turn on the app application, it will show you a few ads and just close them and now what you will be seeing is few options for you just give me a second now there you go it will take a few seconds depend depending on how fast your mobile data is in my case i've been i'm using uh mobile data on tv on the uh on iphone too so it will take a few seconds there you go you can see the boxes in there they got you got pictures you got music you got video you got social network you got videos too online so you can you can choose any one of them in my case i can for just for an example i'm going to be using the pictures mode just to show you how it works my bad i just told the camera uh, the microphone by the way don't forget to subscribe because i'll be uploading ton more content all right so in my case i'll be showing you uh pictures i can't exactly show you like my pictures just find a random album you know just to show you and uh what, it might not show you the thumbnail because of the internet connection you have because there's a TV running back in the background and stuff all, all, all sorts of stuff so you have to be careful about that now there you go just found a picture once you turn once you click on the picture it will show you a few options for example my device and your Samsung TV and any other TV you have in my case I've turned off turn on turned off all my TVs all I have is Samsung running in the background just click on it and it will automatically scream or your pictures on your TV now as I said before you can you can use pictures videos social media or even online videos too so 
and uh, you can you can swipe pictures you can you can play music you can do quite a lot of stuff with this uh, application by the way it, it might be glitchy depending on the uh, 3g connection so it, it is kind of a buggy so it might get it might crash sometimes here and there and so there you go just click on the picture and it'll automatically screen your picture onto the TV as you said as you can see in the background before so I'm just I'm gonna just swipe back for back and forth in a few pictures just to show you how it works and uh, that's pretty much it yeah and I'll see you in the next video by the way don't forget to like subscribe and if you have any questions just leave in the comment section below I'll see you in the next video peace out